coronavirus, COVID-19, management of possible or confirmed cases in the secondary care setting, the correct order for putting on, donning, and the safe order for removal, doffing, and disposal of personal protective equipment, or PPE. For the purposes of this resource, personal protective equipment will now be referred to as PPE. This resource describes the required PPE for healthcare workers in the secondary care setting who are caring for a patient with possible or confirmed coronavirus, COVID-19, and covers the correct order PPE has to be put on, donning, and the safe order for removal, doffing, and disposal of PPE to minimise the risk of cross-contamination to the healthcare worker and the environment. When caring for possible or confirmed coronavirus COVID-19 cases, all staff must wear the appropriate PPE. PPE comprises of the following. Inner pair of non-sterile disposable gloves. Long-sleeved fluid-resistant disposable surgical gown. An FFP3 respirator conforming to EN 149 2001. Fit testing must be undertaken prior to using this equipment and fit checking performed each time an FFP3 respirator is worn. Eye and face protection compatible with the FFP3 respirator, i.e. goggles or full face visor. Prescription glasses do not provide adequate protection against droplets, sprays and splashes. Outer pair of non-sterile gloves. PPE should be put on in the anteroom or lobby or before entering the room where the patient is. The same PPE is also required during an aerosol generating procedure and should be worn by all staff present in the room during the procedure. Before putting on PPE, the healthcare worker should, if necessary, tie long hair back, remove any jewellery, ID badges and lanyards, collect all PPE components and take to the area where PPE is put on, cover any cuts, abrasions or breaks in the skin with a waterproof dressing and perform hand hygiene using soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub. We will now cover the correct order for putting on, donning, PPE in a secondary care setting when managing a possible or confirmed case of COVID-19. Step 1. Inner pair of disposable gloves. Disposable non-sterile gloves should be used. Select gloves according to hand size. Extend glove to cover your wrist. Step 2. Long-sleeved, fluid-resistant, disposable surgical gown. The gown should fully cover your torso, neck to knees and the arms to the end of your wrist. Wrap the gown around your back. Fasten gown at the back using the ties. Step 3. FFP3 respirator. An approved FFP3 respirator should be used. You must wear the FFP3 respirator you have been fit tested to use and you must carry out a fit check each time a respirator is worn. Secure ties or elastic bands at the middle of the head and neck. Fit the flexible band to the nose bridge. Fit mask snug to face and below chin. This should be close fitting and fully cover the nose and mouth. Fit check the respirator. Do not touch the front of the mask when being worn. Step 4. Eye protection. Eye protection will comprise of goggles or a full face visor. The eye protection used must be compatible with the respirator being worn. Place the goggles or full face visor over the face and adjust to fit. Step 5. Outer pair of non-sterile or sterile disposable gloves. The outer pair of gloves will be sterile or non-sterile, depending on the task. Select gloves according to hand size. Gloves should extend to cover over gown cuffs. You are now ready to enter the patient's room.
The correct order for removal, doffing and disposal of PPE in a secondary care setting when managing a possible or confirmed case of coronavirus COVID-19. This section covers the correct order for the removal and disposal of PPE in a secondary care setting when managing a possible or confirmed case of COVID-19. It is critical PPE is removed in the correct order to minimise the potential for cross-contamination. PPE should be removed in the anteroom or lobby. If you do not have an anteroom or lobby, remove gloves, gown, eye protection and respirator inside the room. Guidance on order of removal of PPE is as follows. Step 1. Removing outer gloves. The outside of the gloves are contaminated. Remove outer gloves without touching the inner gloves. Grasp the outside of the glove with the opposite gloved hand and peel off. Hold the removed glove in the gloved hand. Slide the fingers of the ungloved hand under the remaining glove at the wrist. Peel the second glove over the first glove. Discard the gloves as healthcare waste. Step 2. Removal of surgical gown. The gown front and sleeves are contaminated. Unfasten or break ties. Pull the gown away from the neck and shoulders, touching the inside of the gown only. Turn the gown inside out, fold or roll onto a bundle and discard. Hold removed gown away from the body. Roll into a bundle and discard the gown as healthcare waste. Step 3. Removal of inner gloves. Grasp the outside of the glove with the opposite gloved hand. Peel off. Hold the removed glove in the gloved hand. Slide the fingers of the ungloved hand under the remaining glove at the wrist. Peel the second glove over the first glove. Discard the gloves as healthcare waste. Step 4. Removal of eye protection. The outside of the eye protection is contaminated. To remove eye protection, handle by the headband or earpieces and discard as healthcare waste. Step 4. Removal of respirator. If you do not have an anteroom or lobby, remove the respirator after leaving the isolation room. Stand up straight and bring the bottom strap or elastic up to meet the top strap or elastic. Avoid bending your neck. Lift both straps over the top of the head, allow the respirator to fall away from the face. Discard as healthcare waste. Perform hand hygiene immediately after removing all PPE. Further information can be found in the National Infection Prevention and Control Manual at the website address below and the Health Protection Scotland Coronavirus COVID-19 webpage. Thank you.